it's Ken with Ken's Creations. Well, if you're anything like me, you have a lot of cords in your craft room. Um, I currently have my Cricut Explorer. I have a laptop. I have my Silhouette Cameo. I have my iMac. And that is a lot of cords. The great thing is Cricut just released a wireless adapter that's exclusive for the Cricut Explorer. Now one of the features and benefits of this is it gets rid of the cord which is a huge advantage but they also just released an iPad app. So I'm going to show you how to install the Cricut Explorer wireless adapter and then also show you the iPad app and how that works and how you can make projects, the Make It Now projects, on your app and then send it over to the Explorer. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now the Cricut app is just on the Apple um, devices. The way you're going to download the app is you're going to go to your app store and then in your search engine, I just looked up Cricut and search and it is the first one here, the do-it-yourself projects. Go ahead and download that, put in your password. Once it's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and go to the app and open it. Now, if it's the first time you open it, you're going to come to a screen that says the Getting Started Guide. And that's what we're going to start with. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to go ahead and get this app going, and then also how to install it in your Cricut Explorer. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and hit Set Up Now, and this is the steps. So first step is we want to power on our Cricut Explorer. So by now, everyone should know how to turn on their Cricut Explorer. It's up here. And we're going to go ahead and let it do that. All right. The next step, according to their easy install guide, is we're going to get, go ahead and install the Bluetooth adapter into the utility port. Remove the cap from the wireless blue adapter. So let's go ahead and open up this guy. Or not, kind of make it hard to get into. All right, there we go. Looks like in the package you get the actual adapter, and then it looks like a little ins installation gap. So we're going to go ahead and take it out of its case. Remove the gray cap, which is right here. There we go. And as you can see there. Now, on the side of your Explorer, there is a little secret compartment down here. And we are just going to go ahead with the Cricut facing up. Going to put it in and push it until you see that blue light come on. All right. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and remove any of our cords that were plugged into the Cricut Explorer. Won't need these anymore. And we're going to go ahead and just store those for future use. And then we need to pair this. So, we need to go ahead and, as you can see, open settings, Bluetooth, and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Select Cricut from your device list. So, you need to go into your settings on your iPad. Settings. And then right here, you're going to see the Bluetooth. So we want to make sure that's on by going here and selecting on. And as you can see, it found my Cricut device. So we're going to want to make sure that that's paired by just selecting it. And now it's going to go ahead and pair with the Cricut wireless that we put into the Explorer. So it wants a PIN number. And I believe the PIN number, I believe, is in here. And if it's not, we're going to go ahead and go back to our, our installation guide. Enter pin 0000. That's pretty easy. So we're going to go back in and pair, pair that. Oops. Let me turn off my Bluetooth and start it back on so we can pair it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and turn it back on so it can discover my Explorer again. We're going to select it. It's going to ask for that PIN number, so we're going to put in the four zeros. And 
and then you're going to see up here it says pair. We're going to hit pair and we are now connected and we're able to use our Cricut. Now Cricut would like to communicate with Provacraft and Novelty Inc. You can either ignore this or allow it. I'll go ahead and allow it. And then we're going to say I'm connected. So you're ready to complete your first cut. So it's easy as that to connect your iPad over to your Explorer. So let's go ahead and get going on our first project. So before we dive into the iPad app and making projects on there, I wanted to show you how to make sure that your Explorer is paired with your computer also. So let's say you're in design space, you go to insert an image, you have this new great Wi-Fi adapter, your cords are gone, and you say, okay, I'm going to cut this heart, there's my heart, and I hit go, and I'm really excited because I have no cords and I'm cutting edge and I'm the coolest person alive. You hit go, and the big red banner comes up that says, hey, guess what, um, you're not connected. Well, you have to tell your computer to pair with the Explore. Now, I have an Explore, or excuse me, a Mac, so I don't know the Windows, I'm not a Windows user, a Mac user, so I apologize if you're a, a Windows user. I don't know how to pair. I'm assuming it would be the same process, just different icon. But on a uh, Mac-based computer, you're going to come up here, and you're going to see this funny little backwards three with a line. You're going to select that, and you're going to go to where it says Open Bluetooth Preferences. That's going to bring up your Bluetooth, and basically what it's doing right now is it's searching for any devices that um, it can pair with, and there is my Cricut Explorer. So I'm going to select Pair, and now it's connecting to my machine, and we're connected. So I can close this out, and now when I go to my project and hit Go, it's building my project, and I hit Go. Oh my goodness, there's no red banner. Yay! So we're paired, we're ready to cut. All right, now that I've shown you how to make sure your computer is paired with your Explorer, we have our iPad paired with our Explorer, let's go ahead, you all know how to use Design Space, let's show you the app and what you can do with the app. Awesome, let's go. So once you've put the Wi-Fi adapter into your Explorer and went through the setup process, it's going to have you try it out with a first project, which is this Create project. Now on this screen, it looks um, pretty familiar, but you can go to the material size and choose the material you're using. Um, what I am really excited about is they finally gave us the update in this app that I can choose the paper 11 and a half by eight, um, 11 by eight and a half, which is the paper size I personally use a lot. So that's an amazing addition in my opinion. So then you also have, if you need to mirror it, it's going to go ahead and flip it there. Down here you have skip mat, which would obviously go to your next mat if you have multiple cuts. And then you have this one that says go free. And the go free basically means we're ready to go. We're going to cut this and we're free, meaning free of cords. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this and see how it goes. It's the basic setup as if you were designing on your computer. You have load, set, and go. So if you need to change your setting because it's, um, let's say, something else, you would still use that on your dial. So you could change it to any other thing that you want, but um, it's still the same, and then you're going to press go. So let's go ahead and get our cut set up, and then let's go ahead and cut. All right, so according to the iPad instructions, we press that Go Free button. Uh, keep in mind the Go Free means uh, it's free from cords. The image is not free, uh, but it's free from cords. So as you can see, I've already loaded my mat, and my little Cricut light is blinking on and off to let me know, hey, you're ready to cut your project. So we're going to go ahead and press that. The machine's going to start doing its thing. On the iPad app, it says it is cutting. Now, if you look in the back here, there are no cords. The only cord I have is for my power. My other cord I put over here because I don't need it. Now, you know it is communicating with your iPad because on the side here, you're going to see that little blue flashing light. And that means, hey, we're connected. 
you are creating wirelessly. All right, now my cut's completed. On my iPad, it actually says, your cut has been completed, you're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead, take it out, and there you guys have it. A nice cut from the Cricut machine using my iPad. So let's go and take a closer look at what all this app can do and how it can change our lives. All right, everyone, we made our first cut using the Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter. That was so easy. So far, I'm loving this. Easy setup, easy first cut. This is a good thing. So let's take a look at the app. Now, right now, I am using a app called Reflector to reflect what's happening on my iPad onto my computer screen to give you the best image you can see. So please note this reflector that you see on the screen is not part of the Cricut app. It will not be there. That's just because of the app I'm using. Now let's take a look at the icons at the top here and let you know what those do. This first icon with this little person and a check mark is about you. So if I go there, it's going to let me say I can do the getting started guide again. It shows that I'm logged in because there's my name, terms and conditions, and what version you're in. Now, if my name wasn't there, it would say log in, and you would log in using your cricket.com account. So the one that you log in to get into the computer, it's the same account. Now, the next thing is over here with these three lines, that's the Make It Now projects. And what's great is they have separated everything into different categories. So if I knew I wanted to make a home decor project, I could go there and see all the Make It Now projects. Now, once you're in here, you have other options. So you can actually bring up this citrus leaf wreath, and it's going to tell you, is this an easy, moderate, or hard project? How long it's going to take? If there's a cost, how much it's going to cost? It's going to show you pictures. And then it shows you down here the instructions and what you're going to need to make this project. Now, what's great is if I want to keep searching projects in the home decor, I can just hit this little arrow key on my iPad, and that's going to go to the next project. So I could keep going through project after project to look at all of the home decor projects and see what they have. So, for example, if I wanted to make this Wi-Fi password on a chalkboard, it's letting me know that this one would cost 99 cents. Now, let's say I go, yes, I want to make this. This is awesome. If I hit make it now, it's going to tell me you were working on another project. Do you want to replace it? And I'm going to say, sure, let's go and replace it. And then basically, it brings up your mat. It tells you what material size, so I could change the material size to whatever I'd like. It's going to then show you all the different cuts. So I'm using two mats here, basically. There's my first mat and my second mat. So now I'm ready to go. Now, if I want to do this project and I hit go down here and pay, this is going to launch the iTunes Apple Store app program, not your Cricut.com account. So this is basically, you're going to put in your Apple password. It's going to charge your Apple account, and then they'll pay Cricut. All right? So I'm going to hit cancel because I really don't want to buy this right now. Now, what are these two icons over here? All these icons are simply shortcuts to get you back. So if I select this one with this little bookmark, that's going to take me back to where I was before I went to the mats. If I want to go back to my mat, I'm going to select this little mat, and it takes you back to your mat, what's on your project. Now, one thing I didn't mention is there is a recut and a skip mat down here. So if I don't want to cut that, I can hit skip. It places places a red X right here and lets me know we're not cutting that mat. So um, just a little, little, little thing there. So let's go back. Now, one thing I love about this 
is if I go up here to these three little green lines, all the way at the bottom, there's a free option. That's right. They've already taken the work out of it and said, hey, if you just want to use your Cricut Explorer and your iPad to make free projects, here's all the projects. Isn't that amazing? I love free. Free is good. So if I wanted to decorate my Explorer and I say, wow, I really like this design, I'm going to go ahead and select it, make it now free, and there it is. So they've already went through and said, hey, we understand people like free, and we've already made a separate category so you can just see all of the free items. So I can literally kind of go in here, select an image. Mm, don't want to make that one. I'm going to go ahead and hit this arrow over here. There's your next project. Do you want to make that one? Do you want to make that one? You can literally just kind of scroll through until inspiration hits and you say, oh, look at that. I want to make these flowers. This is a real cool project. I might have to actually use this one. So then I'm just going to go ahead and make it now free. And there it is. It's going to tell you this is your first, first mat, your second mat, so on and so forth. Cut out all my pieces. Well, now what do I do? Gosh, I forgot. I'm going to hit this little thing up here. Takes me back to my project with all my instructions. This app could not have been more user friendly. I love it. I absolutely love how easy it is to use. I love the look of it. I love the fact that I don't have any cords. It is a well-designed app. Now, just keep in mind, not all of your items are free. So if you purchase something, that's why it's important you want to be logged in. Because if I purchase something, that's now in my Cricut.com account. I want to log in to make sure I don't keep getting charged for it. Right now, there's 452 Make It Now projects with more to come. Currently, like I said before, this app is only for Apple devices. I'm assuming they are making one for the Android base, since that is 50% of the market right now has an Android based um, phone or pad. So I would only assume that Cricut is working on that and it will be amazing. So hang tight, I'm sure it's coming. I know that's easier for me to say because I have Apple, so I have the app now, um, but hang tight. Uh, so basically, guys, I wasn't going to buy the Wireless Connect because cords wasn't a big issue for me. However, on Friday, I saw this app get released and I got very excited and I went and I obtained a Wi-Fi adapter and I love it. So in a nutshell, it's easy to install. It's easy to use. It cuts real nice. This app is great, and I really hope Cricut takes it a step further and gives us a way to design on our iPad to where we would be able to design something there and cut it. I think that would be great, don't you? All right, guys, I think that's it. It's really simple. It's a very well-designed app. All right, so make sure you guys are checking out my blog. You can find it at www.creativeken.blogspot.com. Make sure you're checking out my YouTube page. I'm really excited. I'm pumped. I'm going to be doing tons of videos around the Explorer, tons of videos around other items. So make sure you guys are subscribing. And thanks for being a follower. Thanks for watching all my videos. I wouldn't be here without you guys. So you're awesome. I think it's two thumbs up for the Wi-Fi adapter. Try to use a coupon at Joann's. I know they'll let you use it. Push them for it because a lot of times it will take 40% off the regular price. So great, great great item for right around $49. I'm going to be using it a lot. So I know I got my money's worth. So go check it out. Go buy it. You can buy it at Cricut's website at www.cricut.com. Go to the shop tab and buy it. Great addition to my Cricut Explorer. I love it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day.